Hi everyone and welcome back to the S&P Saga, your weekly recap of the S&P 500 index. The S&P 500 ended last week significantly rebounding from the previous week's drop. Chip makers like Nvidia and Broadcom were leading the pack. We'll reveal the winners and losers that drove the index performance and which companies will announce earnings next week. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to understand how individual stocks impact the S&P 500. Let's jump right into this week's review. The S&P 500 closed the week at 5,600 126 and 2 cents, up 4% from last week and adding a staggering 2.2 trillion of market cap. The P ratio, based on current price and the latest earnings, stands at 29.43, up 1.17 points since last week. Let's go to your gainers. Nvidia is up 399.1 billion or 15.8% as the company's CEO confirmed the increasing demand for its data center chips. Microsoft up 214.7 billion or 7.2% as the company announced a breakthrough in quantum computing. Note that the company also appointed a new chief operating officer. Amazon is up 158.5 billion or 8.8% following the introduction of a new private label brand to attract price sensitive shoppers. Broadcom up 142.9 billion or 22.4% as the company reached a deal with AT&T regarding the suit we discussed last week. Alphabet up 80.5 billion or 4.3% on no specific news. Moving on to your losers. Berkshire Hathaway is down 25.2 billion or 2.5% as the company's vice chair sold over half of his position in the company. JP Morgan down 23.1 billion or 3.8% on the bank signaling weaker profits in 2025. Adobe is down 11.8 billion or 4.7% as the company reported disappointing earnings guidance for Q4 2024. Exxon is down 6.7 billion or 1.3% on no specific news. And finally, Merck is down 5 billion or 1.7% on no specific news as well. This week, there were no changes announced to the S&P 500. Note that the changes announced last week will be effective on September 23rd. Q2 2024 earnings season is pretty much done for the 503 S&P constituents. Three members released results last week and six companies are left to report earnings. Five S&P 500 members will release earnings during the week ending September 20th, 2024, but they should not have a significant impact on the index. Which company do you think will top the list next week and why? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our weekly updates. To find out why Nvidia and Google were down last week, you should watch this video next.